Hey guys! It's me. You know, me. I've been gone a while. Again. <laughs> how, ma how many times have I done this now? I wonder. Uh, good question, actually. There was, a, there was at least a couple, but this has definitely been the longest, what, four months since my last video? Since... I don't even count the You Can Do Anything mashup, honestly. That was just something I wanted to have up so I could watch it readily. And it ended up getting 60 views, which was nice, I guess. But it has been four months since Worms Rumble, the last video of Cyberspace Investigations. Now, when I say last, I don't mean last as in last final. I mean... It was meant to just be a big episode and then it'd go back to normal, but it turns out things didn't go back to normal because I forgot one crucial little detail. I'm terrible at getting things done. And so I, ha I went through a lot of different script ideas. At first, I had Legend of Zelda 2 as the next episode. Then I went to Rift Apart for a while. And then, finally... I ended on it being an episode about Sonic Colors Ultimate, which I deleted that script in my fourth and final attempt, which was actually recently when I thought about bringing back Cyberspace Investigations, because I never really thought of it as going away, more of just as a break again. And so I figured, hey, Let's do something crazy. Let's redefine everything. Because, you know, in my vanity, as being able to do something <laughs> bigger than myself, I, I thought, oh, I'll do this crazy huge thing that I'm not even going to talk about, honestly, because it's, uh, it's just really dumb. And so I figure, instead of that... Instead of doing this whole thing, because my original plan, you know, when I was thinking I was going to make this video and I was going to come back and be, hey, it's the triumphant return of me. And I was like, how many people are actually waiting for me to come back? Probably more than I think. <laughs> but I was going to announce a remaster of the first nine plot-relevant episodes of Cyberspace Investigations, give them a new intro, add some things that tease the worms as actually being a bigger threat. <laughs> throughout leading up to Worms Rumble. And, um, I might actually still do that because I realized, you know, I, w I had this fantastic idea of shifting cyberspace investigations to a different format, which I'm still going to do partially. It's just the way we got to that format was a soft reboot, basically, called um, Masters of the Multiversal Maze, which was kind of like this idea where it'd be a 27-episode series, kind of like a season two almost, where I'd be going through alternate dimensions of, well, still my house, because where else am I going to go, honestly? And fighting alternate versions of myself who are evil and give myself character growth before finally landing in a dimension and basically displacing a version of myself that was actually a good person, unlike the character I play in Cyberspace Investigations, who is definitely not a good person. And then I realized, oh, right. I don't have a green screen, so I can't do surreal stuff. I don't really have that much acting skills, so I can't carry an entire 27-episode series on my own. And three, I don't have the time or money or general skill to do any of that, so I figured, hey, instead of doing something crazy like that, let's just go back to Cyberspace Investigations for real. Because I've basically decided now, and I'm not sure what I'll do from here on, because if you've been keeping up with the channel, which honestly I haven't uploaded in four months, why would you be doing that, really? 
uh, but before I had this whole uh, cyberspace investigations arcs sort of thing, which had the rise of Channel 53 and the split. And the split, the split story has not been completed yet, but I've deleted all that because I'm re reformatting it, basically. And so right now, I've, it's still two separate arcs. And I think I will do the remaster of the first nine videos when I have time, which should be pretty soon, about the ninth or later, I think I can get started on those. It shouldn't really require much work. The work I need to do is creating a new intro because I want to do a really neat thing that's going to basically kind of lead into the next season, the next real season. Because Masters of the Multiversal Maze is a terrible idea that I can't execute. So I'm not, I'm not, uh, gonna do that. But I'm, I'm calling the remastered season Ballad of the Worms, and that should be the first new thing that gets uploaded after this comes out. And then going forward, I think I'm just going to honestly start doing Cyberspace Investigations episodes again. There's wrapping paper on my desk. That landed on the floor. Anyway, as I was saying before, I think um, after those nine episodes, which probably are going to be released weekly so I have some time to work on new episodes, I'm going to switch up the formatting because basically for non-skip videos, I realized essay videos don't appeal to me as much anymore and also don't fit the bill of I can do them pretty fast. What would actually work better for me is just being able to say, hey, I want to review, say, Sonic Colors Ultimate. Let's make a five-minute video that is very fast, well-scripted, and gets to the point rather than having filler and background information because a lot of people don't want that. And there are so many channels that already have hour-long, or in the case of Game Apologist, like what, three, three and a half hour long videos about the entire Sonic Colors three game spectrum, that anything I do on Colors Ultimate, it's not gonna really do it justice. It's not really gonna do it in a, in a way where I will f have like this, ch this unique crazy opinion that nobody else will have. In fact, I will have like the least interesting opinion because I probably can't even edit as well as those guys, and so they're gonna have something better than me anyway. So instead, as I've already said, what I'll do is shorter videos. Less than 10 minutes, probably nine at the maximum, I think, and they will hopefully be a lot more entertaining to watch. Now, the structure of those, I think, I've got this idea where cyberspace actually becomes a, a, a part. More like, that's how I get things, like I just basically slam my head into the desk and it transports me to cyberspace or something really dumb like that. The, but it might just work, and I, I'm thinking, you know, if I'm not going to do the entire crazy hundreds of episodes story I came up with on the, on like, on a whim basically, what am I, what am I gonna do? And well, I want something that's much more close to the tone of the rest of the thing so there's not this immense whiplash when people just go into, uh, into the newer episodes and they're like, hey, what happened to fighting mutant worms with bug juice and all this stuff? Well, that's not gonna go away. And what's, in, and what's going to end up happening is there will be quite a few just kind of normal episodes and then we might get back into some skit stuff and doing some kind of larger plot. Probably back to what I was originally planning, a modified version of the uh, CEO thing. Because that seemed to be going better for me than all the other ideas I came up with. But yeah, so... Look forward, look forward to Ballad of the Worms Remastered, and I will, I will kind of count those as the proper canon versions. I'll, I'll just George Lucas them a bit, 
add some new footage in there, uh, make a new intro. Uh, that's about it, actually. Because <laughs> all, I, all I really want to do is standardize them with Season 2, which is going to have a much better intro. Um, that's gonna be really cool to watch. And also the fact that, like, the first three or four plot-relevant episodes of Ballad of the Worms don't have the same intro as the rest, and none of the videos I've made, except for that one short video about the Bond game, actually have a Cyberspace Investigations label, so I actually do want to change that, and I'm, I'm thinking that's what I'll uh, start with, and we'll go from there. So, basically, giving myself nine weeks to prepare Season 2 to start. And this will basically mean that starting sometime this week, or next week, or probably next week, honestly, I should be back on a weekly upload schedule for a long time, going fairly far into 2022, actually. So, yeah. This is, this is basically my plan. Once again, hello, I'm back. Nice to see you all again. Talking to the camera, by the way, not you guys. You guys are disgusting. Ew.